This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at identifying functional groups. So in this video, we'll be looking at three types of structural formulas. They are the full structural formula, the condensed structural formula, and the skeletal formula. For each example, we'll be looking at how to identify the type of functional group in each type of formula. In our first example, we have a compound that's made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms only. The carbon atoms are bonded with single covalent bonds. So looking at the full structural formula, we can see that the functional group is the alkyl group. If we look at the condensed structural formula, we can see that the carbons at the end of the molecule are bonded to three hydrogen atoms. The other carbons are bonded to only two hydrogen atoms. Each carbon atom is bonded to the maximum number of hydrogens, therefore we can tell this is an alkane with the alkyl functional group. The next example is a compound that contains carbon and hydrogen atoms only. However, if we look at the full structural formula, we can see a double bond between two carbon atoms. Therefore, this molecule contains an alkanyl group. By looking at the condensed structural formula, we can see the two carbon atoms on either end of the molecule are both bonded to three hydrogen atoms. The two carbon atoms that are bonded by the double covalent bond are only bonded to one hydrogen atom. Therefore, we can tell that this molecule contains an alkanyl group. By looking at the skeletal formula, we can see the carbon to carbon double bond in the structure. In the next example, we also have a compound that's composed of carbon and hydrogen atoms only. From the full structural formula, we can see there's a triple covalent bond between two carbon atoms. Therefore, this molecule contains an alkynyl functional group. If we look at the condensed structural formula, we can see that we have one carbon atom that is not bonded to any hydrogen atoms. And we have another carbon atom that's only bonded to one hydrogen atom. Therefore, we can tell that this molecule contains a carbon to carbon triple bond. If we look at the skeletal formula, we can easily see the triple bond in the molecule. In our next example, we can see that we have an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen, which is also bonded to a carbon atom. So this is a hydroxyl functional group. A hydroxyl group is pretty easy to identify in a condensed structural formula and a skeletal formula. In both types of formula, it's represented as OH. In our next example, we have a carbon atom which has a double bond to an oxygen and a single bond to a hydrogen. This is an aldehyde functional group. In the condensed structural formula, it's represented as CHO. And in the skeletal formula, only the double bond to the oxygen is shown. In our final example on this slide, we have a carbon atom that has a double bond to an oxygen which is also bonded to two other carbon atoms. Therefore, this molecule has a ketone functional group. In the condensed structural formula, the ketone functional group is represented as CO. And in the skeletal formula, only the double bond to the oxygen is shown. In our next example, our molecule has a carbon atom with a double bond to an oxygen and a single bond to an OH group. Therefore, this molecule contains a carboxyl group. In condensed structural formula, a carboxyl group can be represented by COOH. It can also be represented by CO2H. In the skeletal formula, we only see the double bond to the oxygen and the OH group. In our next example, we have an oxygen atom which is bonded to two alkyl groups. Therefore, this is an ether functional group. In condensed structural formula, an ether functional group is an oxygen which is bonded to two carbon atoms. The two carbon atoms are also bonded to two hydrogen atoms. In the skeletal formula, we can see that the only atom shown is the oxygen atom. In the next example, we have a carbon atom that has a double bond to an oxygen and a single bond to another oxygen atom. Therefore, this molecule contains an ester functional group. In the condensed structural formula, the ester functional group can be represented as COO or CO2. And in the skeletal formula, we have the double bond to the oxygen and the single bond to this other oxygen atom. In our next example, we have a carbon atom with a triple covalent bond to a nitrogen atom. Therefore, this molecule contains a nitrile functional group. When using condensed structural formula, a nitrile functional group is represented as CN. 
In the skeletal formula, we have a triple covalent bond and a nitrogen atom. Next, we have a carbon bonded to a nitrogen, which is bonded to two hydrogen atoms. So this molecule has an amine functional group. When using condensed structural formula, it is represented by NH2. We can also see the NH2 in the skeletal formula. Next, we have a carbon atom with a double bond to an oxygen and a single bond to a nitrogen atom. So this molecule contains a carboxamide functional group. When using condensed structural formula, it is represented as CONH2. In the skeletal formula, we can see the double bond to the oxygen and the NH2 group. And here we have our last example. In this molecule, we have a C6H5 group bonded to a chlorine atom. So we actually have two functional groups in this molecule. We have the C6H5 group, which is a phenyl functional group, and a chlorine atom, which is a halogeno functional group, which can also be called a chloro functional group.